This is Prominence 2. And what is Prominence 2? Well, it is a RPG Minecraft mod pack that spawned me in a f***ing tree. Why is my question. Why would you put me in a tree? I guess because we're in a bamboo forest. Now, I played a little bit of this and I thought it would be super fun to do. So let's get right into it. So number one, we have first steps, which gives us no rewards. But we also have this, which our goal is to actually find... A fruit or vegetable and the thing is i don't really know exactly entirely how to do that i kind of got lucky with that by looting which is exactly what i'm going to do this time i forgot it had this style of combat right oh it's a bit laggy oh that's no fun see when i tried it out the first time i was recording it not streaming and recording which doesn't really i think do much it shouldn't oh hey look at that the thing that we need a beat and then that completes our quest okay and then we can move on to the next thing pop xp levels so this basically just tells us about the different chapters on the side which a lot of this i'm going to be getting into later on oh, wait a minute you can claim a chunk i'm going to check somebody right click on the top of the chunk and collect oh that's actually really cool oh yeah the talent tree which if we press n we can access that and we also get something that we can use for resetting it but of course i don't have any levels into it yet and we need to build a chest okay well that's super simple but i'm not going to worry about that at the moment instead what i'm going to worry about is going towards whatever this is over here because it looks fun and lootable hey man it's a drake can i kill you i can but you could probably kill me a lot better my bad my bad my bad my bad you're right but it led us to a chest i need to eat please let me eat thank you it led us to a chest which we can go and sort iron and gold raw cod uh i mean raw fish but do i really want that I'm, uh, I'm bad at this game, guys. But that helped me learn something very important, that dying isn't the end of the world because we do have gravestones, which is absolutely beautiful. <gasps> Ooh, okay, so we found a really good sword. It's an epic sword. 10% uh, crit chance, 100% more durability, and one extra luck. It does 6 damage instead of 5. I'm gonna go ahead and use that, absolutely. Is that guy riding? Was he just... Oh my god, he's riding into battle on a, on, on a cow. That seems illegal. I got a parkour like my life depends on it. You know what? I should just get out of here, actually, because I was going to circle around to the spawner that I can't even break. So never mind. I'm leaving. That's like not on the map, right? Is it underground? See, it's like it's showing like almost right on top of me. Hold on. Let me get like right over top of it. It is underground. We're going to ignore the hanging tree. I'm not ready for that, apparently. I I'm not even sure what this is all about. Wait. Oh, name tag. Ooh, okay. Spectral arrow. A clock will be pretty nice. Ooh, golden carrots. Ooh, and boots. Uh, minus 5% speed, but I'll take it because it is, in fact, protection. No, hey, what? Or, what? The, oh, no. No, 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 no. Is this going to be the same thing I just explored? Also, weren't you the thing that threw that explosive crap at me? Whatever you are, you're going to die. Prisoner's quarters. What? I'm going to set my respawn point here, and I'm going to go in through that portal and see uh, what it is. So this is a whole different dimension. What can I learn about it? Is it in the quest? Oh. I mean, I'm gonna go through this a little bit, but I don't think I'm ready for this. Shit on! Oh, you guys just dropped rotten flesh. I mean, that's pretty cool, but I feel like it's not really worth it. This is actually really cool. I mean, I'm getting some decent loot as well. I mean, I guess not really. Deep within Vaz, the volcano where everything originated lives, Skellac? The creator of all things. He maintains the balance through all dimensions and has fought countless battles to avoid the realm's destruction. Okay, loving the lore. But now after eons of battles, Skellac is as weak as ever. And a new threat approaches. The hungry world ending force known as the Void. So the Void's an entity in this, basically. That's cool. Skellac has contained, uh, has contained the Void's invasion for a long time. But now with him being his at his weakest point... They are planning an invasion to all dimensions, corrupting what once were peaceful creatures. So that unlocks us the first challenge, which is to kill the Night Lich. And that is going to be a tough one. But I thought that there was more that we unlocked. <gasps> Diamond! We did it! Power 3, Fire Protection 3, and Chilling 2. Wow, that's really good. See, and now I'm like, oh man, I'm actually getting good loot. Do I really want to leave now? And the answer is, uh, yeah, because I'm running out of the inventory space. So, uh, I'm gonna grab, like, this last chest, and I'm gonna mark that this is the farthest that I made it. <gasps> A runic tablet. I need that. Simply Swords offers over 15 weapon, uh, types for players to utilize. It also has unique, uh, 
feature set of runic powers, which can be given to weapons via sockets. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this area. I'm gonna mark it so I can come back here later. I guess to be fair, it's right next to the to the tree, which is extremely lucky, by the way. Okay, this takes us further down. I don't want to go further down yet. I actually want to go back up and build a chest. One for the quest and two so that I can store some things up. And then I want to explore that way first. Actually, let's go and check this out area out now. Because I have a feeling it's nothing. Yeah. There we go. Normal chest, which I'm going to put over there. And I'm going to go and take my important things out of this chest. And then I got to sort through this in a little bit and see what all I need to like make use of. I should have got enough wood for another chest. I think I have what I need for the standard backpack. I literally just need this. Which means I need wool. Um, I have string, I don't have wool, which means I gotta go find a sheep, or something, or sheep equivalent, which means I'm gonna go down into the dungeon and see what I can find out, or I guess it's a dungeon, I'm gonna go down here and see what I can find, so I can put these on? Yes, yes, I mean, yeah, absolutely. My feet actually meow! What the hell, dude? Okay, so it is nighttime, but I want to quickly craft up this backpack. I think we have literally just everything, right? Bam! Another thing done, and this gives us a blank upgrade. Uh, which I believe is used for chests. The next thing we need to do is a copper chest. Mine some copper and use a blank chest upgrade to make a copper upgrade to your chest, but I'm not too worried about that right now. So I guess right now we really are just getting stronger. Like, that's basically it. Now, I know you can't throw this backpack on anywhere, which honestly kind of sucks. Um, I can put it down. I can pick it... Wait, that put it on. Wait, where did it... Like, it's really cool that I can throw it on my back, but here... Oh, that's how. Oh, okay. No, that's really cool. There we go. Iron backpack. That was a lot more complicated than I thought. Now, how do I make more of these? Three leather backpack to... Really? Now, I know there's an easy area near here that I can obviously go loot, but I'm gonna actually head towards, like, this area, I think, or maybe up this way. Ooh, more cows. Hold on. I was about to leave. Can't leave without killing more cows. I am here to investigate your nice village and probably steal your loot. This village is also really cool. What the hell? Hey, guys. Can I loot these? Oh, you got nothing? Okay, that's fine. So now we have bonus speed and melee damage. The rogue's path. That was our only point? Yup. Hey, we also have those guys to deal with here in a second. Oh, they trapped these guys. Now, the only thing is I can't kill this one guy. One in particular. Because then that's going to cause problems for the village, and I don't want to do that. Plus four armor, plus two maximum HP. If I do this, I'm going to lose more HP, though. No, I gain one heart. Okay. I gain half a heart. Okay. Whoa, wait a minute. I attack so fast. Oh, I killed the dude, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Well, the thing I didn't want to do happened, so that sucks. Oh, we get another diamond rapier. Um, so this one has thundering instead of life mending. The last dude's this way, but it looks like he is underground somewhere. I just don't know how and where. I'm gonna actually head towards home now. Store up some of my stuff and find a different route to take, because this area is getting a little boring. To battle! To war! I'm immediately going for the spawners. What is that? Everlasting bee? Not consumed when eaten. I literally already don't have to wear it. Oh, that's right. It has a cooldown. I completely forgot. So I definitely need to make it stay. Oh, what the hell? Oh, hell no. Hell no. You get the hell away from me with that shit. What is that? Oh my god. Look, light. You can't be mad at me now. What are you? A savannah creeper. Because savannah creepers are scared of me. It's just the undead creepers aren't. They might be scared of dogs because they're undead creepers. Okay, I can't be... I can't be fucking with you, bro. Oh, you know, one downside... Um, to my lightning striking abilities is I turn creepers into charged creepers. Oh, it's this again. I've already got a portal to your guys' dimension, so you can f*** off with, with giving the others to me. I'd like to find other things, like whatever... Oh, that's a bridge. That's why the signs are really useful. I gotta keep an eye out for them. The only thing is, they are difficult to find sometimes. Hey, man, I'm gonna free you. Be free, bro. Carlene, wherever the hell, I don't know where you're gonna go, but you're free to make that choice. Wait, is that the dude I saved? Dude, he found his way over here? That's awesome. What the hell? Whoa. Wait, I think I know what this is? It's a meteor, I'm pretty certain. Yeah, like this stuff is Skystone. I don't know exactly what it's for. Oh my god, it takes a while to break. I think I have everything I need, except for obsidian. Okay, so I need to get some obsidian first. I think I saw lava on the map somewhere this way, so I'm gonna run this way and see if I can find it. Oh, Endermen are jokes, what the hell? Oh my god, I don't even need to like be in safety, I just beat his ass. See, I saw a glow here, on the map, 
But now it's daytime, so it's gonna be harder to find. We found things, guys. We finally found things. So what do we got here? We got something 900 blocks that way and something 1400 this way. I'm gonna quickly put a waypoint here and do sign. I'm just gonna name it sign and we'll just we'll just leave it there. Do I have an apple on my face? What the f***? What, why? If you guys want to see some more modded Minecraft on Prominence 2, let me know by leaving a bit like on this video and subscribing so you guys don't miss a video. Like I said, in the next one, we're going to be doing some more explanation on what that is over there and what these other two locations are.